Last August, I purchased a Tier 1 Concealed Aegis holster. It's been my daily driver ever since then. What today's video is going to be about is reviewing it six months after the fact to see what I like, what I don't like, and maybe if it's right for you guys. Okay, so let's start off with the holster itself and how I customized it and how it came. So first of all, this holster is made specifically for my Smith & Wesson SD9 here. So uh, Tier 1 actually advertises it as being for an SD9 VE. Um, I don't know if there's actually any difference in uh, the shape of the gun for the VE. Uh, I kind of took a risk on it with the purchase. I didn't know if it was going to fit well or not, uh, but I'm very happy I did. It fits great, um, but that's just kind of sort of a technicality, I guess. Um, as far as the looks of the holster, I went with the Coyote Brown on the front, and on the back, I just went with a solid black. I did not go with any sort of sweat guard here. I maybe would have changed that, but we'll get into that later. So this is what you receive after you place your order. Um, the cool thing about the Aegis here is it's actually um, detachable. The magazine itself is detachable. So there's no commitment to having the whole appendix rig here. As you're customizing your holster on Tier 1's website, they have multiple options for how you can have your belt hooks. So I believe this is called the Bravo configuration, which I actually went to myself. It's not how I ordered it, uh, but I had changed it. So basically what this means is a Bravo configuration has both of your belt hooks on the gun side of the holster. An Alpha configuration has one belt hook here and then another belt hook on this side. So um, it kind of just aff affects how you would um, wear it. So if you are a person who wears a belt that has a giant buckle on it, uh, you may need it to be wider or you may just want the gun to be more centered here with this around your buckle or you may want it to fit on this side. Uh, so it's kind of just customizable in that way. Let's put it on and I can show you how it looks. Okay guys, so I moved the camera a little bit so you can see a little better. So this is the holster as is right now in my waistband. Uh, no fancy belt for me, just some random tactical $10 Amazon belt. Um, but this is as is pretty comfortable right now. Okay, so obviously I have the Bravo set up here. It's pretty great, no complaints. It works really well with my belt and it just fits around perfect. Even with this uh, thickness right here, it has no problem holding on. So that's pretty great. As I said, it's really comfortable. No problems at all drying and the holster stays in place. You see my shirt came out a little bit. Uh, magazine's just as easy to get to. But obviously, most of the time, it's gonna be under your shirt. So let's see how it looks. So how it actually conceals, I guess. So, um, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm concealing, normally I kind of push down my pants a little bit. I kind of push down on the gun. I feel like it conceals better, like the closer, closer downtown it goes, the closer, uh, the harder it is to see. Um, so this is kind of how it conceals. I'll just kind of move around a little bit. And obviously you'll see a little bit of printing on this side, um, just on the butt here. Um, but with a gun this size, that's really hard to prevent. So overall, not bad. Black shirt obviously makes it easier too. Um, if I was wearing a white shirt or something bright, um, I might be a little bit more skeptical unless I was wearing something really baggy. Um, but overall, concealability, great. Super happy with it. Comfortability, good as well. Uh, something I wanna note is I wish that I had purchased a sweat guard for this. Um, the rubbing that's happening back here after you've been wearing it for six hours, eight hours, um, that's not always so fun. It's not super uncomfortable. It's something you can deal with, no problem. Um, but it's something I would have preferred. Also, the grip on this specific gun does start to irritate. So if I know I'm going to be walking a lot that day, I kind of have to force myself to wear an undershirt because it's just not going to happen with that rubbing in my stomach all day. Um, but overall, if you're rocking the full rig, super comfortable, conceals well, like I, like I showed you guys, pull it out, no problem. Um, but I also, after owning this for a month, kind of realized I don't need the full rig all the time. So I wanted to break it down to just having the gun portion of the holster on there to see if I like that more. So that's what I did. So let me kind of show you guys. And before I take it off here, I just want to note the flexibility on there. Okay, well it came undone because I, was, I only had a few snapped. But um, that flexibility, that helps a lot um, with how comfortable it is. So, um, like I said, if you want to go 
to just uh, the gun portion of the holster. It's literally just snap-ons, and those already popped off because I had taken it off earlier and didn't put it on all the way. Um, but I'll just finish snapping it off there. Boom. Um, this is what it looks like. They're pretty big. Um, if you do want it to be all the way snapped in, uh, it's gonna require some effort. It's probably not something you wanna do every single day. You probably wanna find um, what you like the most and stick with that the majority of the time because that'll start to be a pain. Um, but now we can look at just the gun portion of the holster without that extra magazine. So still looking at essentially the same thing here. It's gonna fit on my belt the same because that's not changed. And it's gonna just overall be in the same location on my body. So I'm going to complain about one thing and it's a stupid thing to complain about because it has to be there and if I didn't want it, I could have bought another holster that didn't have it. Um, but in order to rock this thing without that extra magazine, you're gonna have this little guy hanging off. So it's not super annoying, but when you're wearing it all day, you do feel that rubbing on your body and it's kind of just like, I guess, Irritating is an okay word, super nitpicky, um, but that's just the way it is, I guess. So that's my one super small complaint about rocking this without that extra magazine on there. Um, so let's try it on, see how it looks. Okay, so obviously it's gonna look nearly identical to what I was wearing before, because I didn't change where these belt hooks are. Um, I have grown to really like it um, in this configuration. Uh, it just makes a lot of sense for me specifically. It conceals just as well. Obviously, it's the exact same setup on this side. So um, that's going to be exactly the same as when you have that extra magazine on there. There's just nothing happening over here. And that can help a lot just with, you know, rubbing if you're doing a lot of movement, walking, going around, um, or just in general. Um, and then one thing I didn't show you guys is I'm just going to take a seat really quick so you can see. Those of you who conceal appendix know it's kind of good to just pull those pants up before you sit down. And just like that, we're sitting down, concealing great. It's still really comfortable if you pull it up and it's just kind of resting on your belly. You know, a three hour movie is not going to be a problem. Working at a desk is not going to be a problem. Looks great, feels fine. Um, exact same situation when that extra magazine's on there. So no complaints there. Um, overall, very happy with this setup. Major takeaways for me with this holster, um, consider that sweat guard for the gun, especially if you're kind of on the edge of if you want it or not. You don't have to go, you know, full high sweat guard. You can maybe get a medium one or a small one. Uh, I know I'm definitely going to do that on my next rig. Um, consider that extra magazine if it's something you really want, if it's something you really want to like have probably more than 50% of the time. Um, Obviously it's detachable, so you got options, um, but if it's something you think you might not ever use, um, then you may want to consider a different holster. Uh, tier one, uh, they also make a, what's called an Axis, as well as an Axis Slim, that I really want to try in the future. Uh, and I also think I'm going to pick up, I think it's called the Xyphos. Um, it's basically this, um, but without this guy that I was complaining about, because it's not meant to have that extra magazine. So. Um, I'm going to try that out and I'll definitely look forward to reviewing that as well. Uh, overall, it's a great rig if you're looking to carry appendix. Uh, I'd certainly recommend them and their products. Um, it even ships with like a free, you know, little um, sling backpack and stickers. And so it's pretty rad. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm here to answer. I'm looking forward to making some more content for you guys. We're just kind of getting started here. Uh, please subscribe, like the video if you're still here and still watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.